Hi, this is Charity, and I'm here to talk to you about alerts. So let's get started. So when I'm assigning a lab to students, I want to go ahead and open up my alerts tab so that this is just going to start populating those alerts. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go invite some students, and then I'm going to have to go ahead and open an incognito window so I can show you what that looks like. And then my students are going to see your name and they're going to quickly click Google or Clever. If they don't, they're going to come here and then let's go ahead and get started. And they're going to see the intro and hopefully you talk your students through that. And then they're going to come here and I'm going to do very, I'm going to be a very un Hermione like student and I'm just going to randomly like not even read and make choices there. So Rex is going to pop up because Rex is the AI tutor who's going to pop up and try to help Hermione in the mistakes that Hermione is making. And meanwhile, what's happening over here in the teacher interface is that we've got a couple of alerts. So first of all, Julian has been on the same phase for 38 minutes. So uh, we need to go talk to Julian because he, he was obviously struggling and then he's been in the same spot for 38 minutes. So I really need to go help him. And then as soon as I get Julian going again, then I need to hop over to Hermione. And so these are the various levels of assistance that I can provide for my students. So I can see the names of my students that I have alerts for today. I could see my active and my inactive students. I can change my settings in here. I can clear alerts between classes, but let's actually hop into that for Hermione. So I can see she's been on hypo hypothesizing for about a minute. She's creating an untestable hypothesis basically. So this is text I can see for her. Oh, I can see the history of how she's done today and any other alerts that she's had today. I can see that she's working on forces in motion, her independent variables, rough, roughness of the ramp and dependent variable is time to the end of the ramp. So I can walk over to her and this is literally the text I can say to her. I can say, Hermione, what's your dependent variable? And if she needs more assistance, I can say, remember a dependent variable is the thing you want to measure so that dependent variable is the variable you're going to measure in your investigation. So that's the one you want to select now. And if they really, really need that assistance, I can go all the way down to your dependent variable should be time to the end of the ramp because this is what you're going to measure. So what these are really about is providing scaffolding, right? At the orienting, we're starting off just a little bit of scaffolding, right, for our students. If they need more, we're going to give them more. If they need more, we're going to give them more. And if they need the instrumental support, we're really going to do that, but we're kind of going to hesitate before we go there because we want students to have time to process and think. This is really about, you know, we want them to have a productive struggle. And so we want to provide them enough support, and enough scaffolding. So this can be a productive struggle rather than just a struggle where they shut down. So that's really what this is about is just giving them just enough information to help them productively struggle. And so this is what our alerts look like. And as let me go ahead and fix my problem. And then you can see what happens over there. So let me fix my problem. So if I increase the roughness of the ramp, the time to the end of the ramp will stay the same. I'll just say that. It doesn't matter what they say there. So then what you're going to see is see how it went green right there? When she fixes the problem herself, it, it's resolved. Now, if I go help Julian and I think I helped him resolve the problem, I could actually mark him as resolved as well. So this has been alerts. I hope this has been helpful. Please do not hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or you need assistance. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I appreciate it and hope you have a great day.